It shows not just the past, but also the present. North Korea, well, Ukraine, we have exhibition about Maidan. Uh, we have exhibition about Russian milliardaire Mikhail Khodorkovsky, the man who we also did help to come free. Our task in the past was to help the people to escape from the East Germany. It is also an organization and not just a museum. So when the mother of Mikhail Khodorkovsky, the friend of mine, came here and did cry and said, please help, please help. Take my son, Mikhail Khodorkovsky, from prison because he will die there. I did promise here, yes, we will do what we can. We will try. And we did try and uh, he's now free. For all us, for all people in the world, in the free world, um, it's very important that, uh, you know, because the freedom is not something from heaven. You know, for the freedom, uh, you must struggle. As the people in Germany, we show in our museum examples how the people in Germany uh, got the freedom. So it's possible. So other people in other countries, as Cuba, as North Korea, and as Ukraine uh, just need our help and uh, just need to learn our example. This is our task now. My late husband, Dr. Rainer Hildebrandt, um, he has an experience to struggle uh, for the human rights in the Hitler time. He was belonged to resistance against Hitler. After, also, he was about 17 months in Hitler prison. After the se Second World War, uh, he did uh, establish the struggle group against unhumanity because of all what did happen in the East Germany. This was Soviet's deed. When the wall was built, he did ask himself, what can I do about without violence? And his idea was to make the exhibition about the wall, with the truth of what happened in the wall. And he did it. He was not just my husband, he was, he was also my teacher, and my father, and everything. Uh, he did inspire it in me, he did inspire it in our son, my oldest son, he is now 25 years old. Uh, we tried to do just what he did, so as we imagined he would like.